now. Philip, hello there and welcome to Vancouver. Hello, thank you. Thank you for having me. This is very exciting. How did you feel when uh, the Tourism New Westminster tracked you down? Well, I was suspicious. You know, I grew up in the era of uh, an Egyptian prince wants to send you money, you know, if you tell, give him your bank account. So, uh, I, so I checked them out thoroughly and then um, I started talking with people. I'm like, okay, this this is for real. You know, it's pretty unprecedented. I have, I'd even emailed the Price is Right folks and they said they'd never seen this happen before. <laughs> so um, start talking with folks and when the reporters start calling and Geraldo start calling and, you know, we got to, you know, figured out what was going to happen exactly. Um, it was, it was just just amazing. I mean, I really couldn't believe it. Right. Well, how did how did you even get into that predicament in the first place? What happened that day on the show? Well, um, I'm sort of an engineering kind of person. I did computer stuff when I was working, and so I had been studying prices on the Prices Right for about a year, year and a half. On that particular game, that was the lowest price trip ever, and for at least two years. And so I was I was really really sure that the middle price that I selected was eight thousand and change was the exact price. I was I was flabbergasted when it wasn't. And to my, you know, the show was Drew Carey. He was fairly surprised that it was, uh, it was not the price that I had selected. Okay, so Tourism New Westminster contacts you. You made it here to, to New Westminster. What what happened? How what First impressions, why don't you share those with us? And I'm thinking, you probably didn't time it all that great in terms of the weather, especially someone from Arizona, but... Uh, what was well, what was what was your your first impression? Well, it, it's obviously colder than Arizona, but uh, I, I grew up in Ohio, you know, so northern Ohio on Lake Erie. So I'm used to this kind of weather. I grew up with it, so that wasn't that big a deal to me. Um, I wish I could take some of this rain home with me and send you all some of our sunshine. It's like, but uh, this was a great time to come. You know, it was a great time for me. Um, but this sort of a little break in the holiday schedule, so it worked out really well. Plus, you know, we had all. Done all this work on the the marketing and PR. I really didn't want to wait till spring. You know, people have been like Philip, who you know, and so uh, so we worked it out. And uh, my friend Tim got to come with me. He had vacation time left, so I plied him with beer. And they <laughs> said they have breweries in West in the West. Do so, we ever? Yeah, come on. Some great stuff. We got some yesterday. The one the main thing I've learned this week: just go with the flow. You know, smile and wave. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Where has the flow taken you so far? Oh, we've had a great time. They had a um, they had a big reception when I got to the hotel Tuesday night. Uh, there must have been like 50 to 75 people there, cameras, you know, uh, microphones. Then they made the ultimate mistake. They gave me a live mic and said, yeah, start asking me questions, which as you can tell, I'm not particularly shy. And so, um, so that was fun. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, yesterday we did, oh, I got to have dinner at the, uh, the boathouse uh, for the Tuesday night, delicious delicious food. Um, Tuesday, we did so much, I'll probably leave in something out, um, but we did archery lessons. We did um, one, of the, one of the breweries, SNO Brewery. It was great. Um, the uh, We got to go on a, a ride on the police boat, uh, yeah, with New West uh, Police on their police boat. Uh, it was cold, but it was fun. You know, I grew up in Lake Erie, I said, so I'm used to boats and love boating. Um, we had a special show by the circus school, so they were so adorable. I mean, these kids are so talented. And then um, we had supper last night at Cockney Kings. And so great fish. If, you're, if you love fish and chips, you, you can either get, you know, fried fish, baked fish, you know, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, yeah, you can, you can, if you go there for fish, it's, it's, it's excellent. Yeah. Um, it's one of the pl few places I've ever been to where I didn't have to like put stuff on my fish. <laughs> you have to eat it, you know. It was, it was delicious. You're a great ambassador so far. I think I, that I was like a to, really smart idea I'd of like Tourism to, New Westminster. Yeah, I'd like to think so. I mean, they, you know, I I was teasing uh, Herodo. It's like, you know, I, I just want you all to get your money's worth out of this because <laughs> I'm going to have a good time regardless of what I do. And, you know, I'm almost to a fault uh, sometimes, but. Um, yeah, I, I, I well, love you know, doing this we, kind of thing. We had some giggles about this. There, There's no doubt about it. We all love New Westminster mm. as much as everyone else does. But if you think... <laughs>